welcome back to my channel um if you are new to my channel welcome i noticed i got a lot of new subscribers and i really appreciate that and you sticking around and you wanting to see my videos does that mean you like my channel so you already know we're doing a haul so before we get into the haul i wanted to show you this rug that this company called vv by sent to me they let me go on their site and they told me to choose between three things on their site and they end up sending me this rug that I really, really like. So the rug I got was a geometrical pattern, I wrote it down, woven rag rug. This is the rug. It's really pretty. Um, I might put it in my basement's bathroom or my basement kitchen. Let me give you a closer look at the patterns that's on here really pretty rug and then on the end of on each end it comes in these pretty look got these pretty tassels on the end of it and it's really thick material that's another thing i like about it so i'm going to be putting this down in my basement now if you like this rug i'm gonna leave the link to the rug and a link to their channel i mean their site down in the description now, on their site, they also have a lot of different stuff. They have throw blankets. They have pillows. They have um, the macrame wall hangers. Wall, um, I think they just wall hangers. They macrame wall hangers. They have dream catchers. They have more rugs. So, if you don't like this rug, they have a bunch of rugs that you can pick from. Um, they got blankets i think they even got comfort sets so they have a lot of different things so go and check out their site and i'm pretty the haul so i went to hobby lobby dollar general the target dollar spot and the target um wonder shop i think that's what it's called that's what it's called if not i'll read the tag and i'll correct myself and target dollar and walmart so my theme is I already told you I wanted to do buffalo check, but to add into the buffalo check, I want to add red, like burlap, what else, wood, and so like buffalo check, like a rustic buffalo check. And I know I do a lot of farmhouse, so you're still going to see some farmhouse stuff in there, but because my whole kitchen is nothing but farmhouse. But I want to do like a rustic buffalo check for my living room and my kitchen. There you go. So to start off, I think I'm going to do, I'm going to start with Target. The Target dollar spot. So I went to the Target dollar spot probably, probably four times maybe. And I'm kind of sick of looking for stuff. But I, I, I pretty much found everything I wanted. So, I'm good now until I probably go in there and see something else. So, from the Talking Dollar Spot, I got two of these glitter pine wreaths. To me, I'm not a glitter person, but it's more like the frosted glitter, I guess, if, if I'm explaining that right. I got two of these. These were $3. I want you to see how pretty that is around. So I got two of these and you can hang them. They got the little the little cloth, black and white piece on it so you can hang it. I might switch this out and put like buffalo check, a piece of buffalo check ribbon on here. So I got two of those. They were $3. Then I got two of these metal bowls. So two metal bowls. And these are black. I believe they also come in galvanized. The buffalo check black and white. And also all white. I think. But these are the ones I've seen. And I said I didn't want this kind. I actually wanted the um, galvanized ones. But I'm like let me grab these now. I mean if you get something like this. And they're not the color you want. But they are only a dollar. You can spray paint these. The color you want. Or you can paint them. It's up to you. So I got two of those. And like I said, they were a dollar. Then the next thing I got, I really, really wanted this. And I didn't think I was going to find it. And I have this 
sign. It says North Pole Milk and Cookie Company, bacon, Santa's favorite since 1954. So cute. I really like this. I really, out of everything I've seen, this was one of the things I really wanted. And I'm glad I got it, got it and it was $3. Next, I grabbed a couple of, um, are they ornaments? They're actually ornaments. So, I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to be using them to do my tear tray or on my tree. So the first one I got is this. It's just a barn ornament. Really cute. I got that. A dollar. Then I got this other little ornament. And it just says December 25th on it. Really cute. I love the red and the font. December. The font is December is right now. Then I got this one. It says to Santa. To Santa the North Pole. And it just got a little stamp on here. And it just looks like a little um ornament. It's just an ornament letter. Really cute. And it got the little thing that you can hang. You can take that off and put these on your tear tray. It's a cheap way of decorating your tear tray. So I got one, two. I think I just got three. Unless it's in another bag. But I got... Three of these, as far as I can remember, they were a dollar. Next, I got some of these cider with berries sprigs, and it comes. It's four in a pack, and they were a dollar. They actually show them on a picture as you know something you can put on your napkin. But I got two packs of these. I got a DIY coming up, DIY video coming up that I want to use these on. They're really cute. I mean, you can put these on your tea tray too. You can put them on your tree. You can lay them on your mantle or your shelf just for extra decoration. So they're really cute. Next, I got this little bag. It's, a, it's actually a favor bag, but I'm not going to use it for a favor bag. And these, these were a dollar. I don't know if I said that. And this was a dollar. I probably stuffed this with some bags, little market bags, and put it on my tea tray. Really cute. They had them in... Other colors was red, and I think it says Merry Christmas, and I think it was another one. I can't remember. I think it was like a burlap one. I'm not sure, but this was a dollar. Next, something else I got, and I was so surprised that they had it when I went in there. I think because I went in there in the morning. You know, Target gets trucks every single day. Um, so I found this um, interchangeable, interchangeable decor. It includes one frame and four double-sided prints. So I got this. And inside, I'm going to show you what's inside because I can't just read it. It'd be better to show you. So I'm going to go ahead and open this. Okay, so this is the dark wood frame one because I wasn't really sure if I was going to put this in my kitchen or my living room. But either way, I do, I do black in my kitchen and I'm doing a buffalo check black and white in my, in my living room. So it didn't matter. They also have the... um. Just the regular wood frame ones too. I really don't like that color. I was thinking about getting it and staining it. And I, I don't know. I might go back and get the other one too. So inside it says, welcome to our winter wonderland. And on the other one it says, and the stockings were hung by the chimney with care. Really cute. So that's one of them. And these ones, this, this one, the next one says, oh my God. Merry Christmas, and this says Santa Claus is coming. So really cute. The next one says Murray and Bright, and the one the next one the, on the back it says Holly Jolly Christmas. And the last one is this Angle Reindeer. Games established 1939 and it's just a Christmas tree on the back. So I think my favorite, I like the Murray and Bright. And I like the Santa Claus is coming and I like Welcome to Our Wonderland. I like those and those colors actually go with the colors that I'm doing. So that's really, really cute. So I'm going to show you next what I got from Target. This is still the dollar spot stuff yeah 
Hoggy Dollars is all inside. So it's not a lot in here. I just found another sign that I really wanted. This was $3 and it just says sleigh rides, 9 a.m., 11 a.m., breakfast for lunch, break for lunch, <laughs> break for lunch, 2 p.m., 4 p.m., 6 p.m., 8 p.m. into all a good night. Then again, I don't really like the color of this, but what you can do is I can see if I can pop the sign out of the frame, paint the frame the color I want, then re-glue it back on. Now, if you do that, you probably can do that with like a flat head and go all around it. Or you probably just take this up and paint it. But, I mean, it's up to you. I'm probably going to do that. Or I might leave it this way and put this in my basement. Since I'm not doing the, um, the black and white down there. I know that was a lot, but I really don't like the frame. But I'm, before I figure out, until I figure out where I'm placing it, I'm just going to leave it this plain wood color. Next, I thought this was really cute to put on my shelf in the hallway. It just says potted plant. The leaves, the greenery is not Christmas, but I like the tin. This red and white tin that it's in is really pretty. I like that. And this was $3. So I got that. And that was the last, no, that's not the last thing from the dollar spot. So something else I found in the dollar section was these are really cute they remind me of little gingerbread houses i got to see all the glitter on it i don't like glitter but i couldn't pass these up and then i got home and changed my mind and like dang i should have grabbed them and it's no more so these are really pretty look at all the glitter this is one side i'm not even sure if this is the back this is the front okay because that's the door duh. and i'm guessing this is the back then i got another one this is the shorter, wider one. That's the front sides. No, that's the front. Yeah, that's the front. And these are the sides. And then the back. And look how pretty the top is. So cute. I really like these. I went over to the Target Wonder Shop. I don't think, I, I guess this shop probably been around for a long time. I never actually went over into the Target Wonder Shop and bought anything. I always want me to stick to the dollar spot because I find Target to be overpriced. The same, or maybe I'm cheap. I don't know. Or I just got so used to going inside of Michael's and everything using coupons. But I think they're overpriced. So when I went over there, I ended up finding four cute things that I said I don't want to leave because I'm going to get home and be like, I should have grabbed them. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is these little flocked um, mini trees. They were $3 and I got two of these. I made some last year, but I never brought any because until I seen these, I'm like, these $3, you can't pass them up. Now, these was three, but they also had ones that was taller than these that was five. And I don't think that was bad. These are really pretty though. No glitter, they just flocked um, little mini trees. And these were from the Wonder Shop. Really cute. I really like these. Of course, you got to open them up some. Next, I got something I, I was so happy about. I really, really like this. Um, they came in different sizes. That's what I like. And I think the price was good for them. So, get yourself together. I'm about to show you. This is this medium station wagon. This is so pretty. I love this. And they got the little Christmas tree at the top. This was $10. They also had a bigger one that was $20. But I got I got this smaller one. And it's so cute. It's really pretty. And um, to go with it, I grabbed this. This is so pretty. It is the camper and it was 10 to and they also had one that was bigger and it was $20. Now if you look real close, you can see how they got the buffalo check curtains with the Christmas lights hanging out. The little front door with the wreath and the Christmas lights. Then you go around to the back of the camper and you got the curtains again and then on this side. So something that's really cute. I've seen somebody place 
um, the Christmas um, truck, the pickup truck, next to this. Then I said, you know what? Don't this look really cute together? Like, if you sit these two together like this, is it me because I just got a kid? Imagination, like, it's Christmas time and the family is traveling somewhere. So this is <laughs> this is really, really cute, though. I really like this. This is, like, one of my second favorite things that I found. So, um, I don't know how long these is going to last because I think the price, even for Target, the price was really good. So, I will go grab two of these. Like I said, they come in um, these medium size one and the larger size. And it is a difference. You can definitely see the difference. But I got two of the smaller ones. Just to place somewhere. I'm not even sure where I'm going to place these, but I couldn't pass these up. Even if I use them next year or even if I use just one. So, I had to grab these. And they're so cute. Look how cute they look together. Um, just to see what they had. I heard, I heard about the... Um, sale that they have going on at 50% off. I didn't grab anything that I didn't need. I knew I wanted some of these berries. Um, I want to put these at the top of my Christmas tree. I want to go back and get two more, but I couldn't find any more at this, at that Michael's that I was at. Um, they were 40% off. They was $2. I got them for $1.20, I think. They're really pretty really pretty and I want to use these for the top of my tree so I'm gonna go back and get some more you got to be careful with these because they break so easily and then the berries peel and that's what every all the ones I have seen the red peels from off of the um, styrofoam inside I think it's styrofoam inside and whatever's inside it peels off the red peels off of it but I got two of these anyway I'm gonna go back and get two more then they had their um the garland was on sale for for 50 percent off so this 20 dollar garland i got for ten dollars um it's not real big i'm not gonna i'm not you're not gonna be able to see the whole thing but i'm gonna show you half of it because it's the same all the way through it's the same so it's really pretty so it got more than a little glitter on it it's flocked of course because I'm really liking the, um, I like the flop stuff. I think you consider this flop. I'm not sure. I guess. I'm not sure. But it has that and it has the berries on it. And this is all the way down. And it also, they also had some pine cones mixed in with it. I thought that was really pretty. And let me tell you the length of this one. It's six feet long. So that's really that's really long. It's a good length. I don't need nothing really big. I don't like them real big. Um, the real big garlands. I don't like. I don't like that. It's it's too much. Now I guess maybe if I had had a mantle, I would. But you can get this. It was ten dollars, and you can add like some Dollar Tree stuff to it. If it's too if this is too plain for you, you can also do that. You can add a couple of bowls on here. It's up to you. I'm gonna leave mine as it is. For now, I'm thinking to leave it as it is. Okay, so next for Dollar General, we're gonna be um, I'm gonna be showing you what I got from them. I went to Dollar General two different times, so um, what I got, I got two packs of these Buffalo Check ornaments. Got two of them. They were three. Turn around so you can see. Really cute. I will really put these on my tree. I'm going to open them up so you can see. They got the little um, twine, the jute string on the front of it. And the berries and stuff on the back. And they got the little piece you can hang them from. So these is really cute. I'm going to be putting on my tree. I'm not going to do... I want to do buffalo check, but I don't want it to look like my tree threw up buffalo check. So I will be using those. And I only got two packs, so that's six. It come three in a pack. It was three dollars. Then I also grabbed some of this ribbon. Two dollars from Dollar General. Two of them. Now, and these are 25 inches by they by nine feet. Two 25 inches. 2.5 inches by nine feet. Oh my gosh, I'm tired. That's what it is. 
So I got two of those. Now, only thing I don't like is that you see how the, the squares is wide on here. I think you call one of these like the gingham. And this is like the buffalo check or the plaid. I have no idea. I always just say buffalo check or plaid. But I'm, and then I went to Walmart and I ended up seeing one that looked just like these ornaments. Ribbon. So, they, so Walmart has a lot of ribbon. And I think even though these was $2 and the one I seen at Walmart was eight, you getting, you getting your money's worth because I want to put this on my tree and I would have just needed one pack of the one from Walmart versus buying two of these, but it's okay. I don't even know. I don't think I have my receipt for this. I don't, yeah, I don't even have my receipt, but it's fine. Anyway. I can buy that when they keep this in the do DIYs with, so it don't matter because you can use the Buffalo check black and white all year round. So no big deal. So then I got this candle ring that was a dollar. It's really cute. And I might use this on my tea tray more than likely because that's what, when I grabbed it, that's what, that was my idea. My idea was to use it for my tea tray. So I got that and this was a dollar. Then I grabbed this. Something else I might use on my tree is this little pine cone ornament. Got the berries and the buffalo check bow on it. Now I might switch the bow out. That's something I did think with like some and they like a burlap bow or like a jute string bow. So that's something else I might do. Cause like I said, I want the the um, buffalo check, but not too much. Um, and I'm still debating on these. So let me know down below what you think about these um, ornaments and this ribbon. Because I'm going to put this ribbon on my tree along with the ornaments. But I'm also going to add some uh, some burlap ribbon. So I'm going to put buffalo check ribbon on my tree. And I'm going to put the burlap ribbon on my tree. So maybe that'll uh, make up for the fact that the bulb is, bur is buffalo check too. So just let me know your thoughts. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. So I'm going to show you what else I got from two more things from Dollar General. So the last two things, this one is so pretty. It's a burlap gift bag. I'm not sure if you can see the picture or not, but that's what the bag looked like completely open. And it got my favorite. That's something else I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be adding a lot of um, the farmhouse truck um, to my decorations too of course if you know if you follow me if you watch my videos you know I love the truck anyway so that's probably not a surprise but I like this one I'm not sure I might put this one in my basement because I don't I don't know I don't know yet I'm still debating on this because like I said again I want to get a tree for my basement so I might put some pillow fluff or some bags like market bags inside of here stuff it and put this near my tree or in the corner somewhere. I'm not sure. The last thing I got was just this. This is some really pretty ribbon. It's like a gray burlap ribbon. And it's um, 5 eighths inches by 9 feet. Yeah. So this is really pretty ribbon. It's like a, a gray burlap. I don't know if you really can see it on here. It's not like the burlap color you get from like the Dollar Tree. It's more of a, it has more of a gray look to it. So I got that and I got one thing from the Dollar Tree before I finish. I got these. These are so pretty and a lot don't come off when you're shaking it. That's another reason why I got it because I don't like a whole bunch of um, um, that glitter and stuff that falls away. It just says Willow. That's all it says on it. I got these from the Dollar Tree. I got three of them. And what I want to do, what I'm thinking about doing is adding these berries and this willow together to stick at the top part of my tree and have it just all around my tree at the top sticking up that's why I said I had to go back to Michael's and get one more of these so that's my idea you know how them ideas work sometimes it just don't turn out looking right but we're gonna see so next is Walmart I've been loving Walmart Christmas stuff, I swear. I got, I think that's where I got most of my Christmas stuff from, is Walmart. So first, I found me one of these deers, finally. 
this was four and forty eight. The cheapest I've seen, and it's really cute. And it looks no different from the other ones. It's like twenty dollars and sixteen dollars and thirty dollars. These are really cute from Walmart. He got his little look at his antlers. So cute. And he got his little gray scarf on. So pretty. Like I said, this was four forty eight and these are six inches long. Six they're six inches tall. Um I would have wanted another one, but this was actually the last one left in this print. They had the um what is it? The um plaid print ones. The like the red plaid ones. But I really wanted one of these and I'm glad I because I was about to not get it. I was about to not get it. But I said, let me get it now. But you know how you're like, I'll come back. But you don't want to do that for stuff at Walmart. Because once it's gone, it's gone. So I grabbed that. Then I grabbed some more ornaments. I don't know if I'm going to be using them as ornaments or on my tea tray. Because I want to make my tea tray really cute. I'm trying to get my tea tray. Um, what can I say? The core idea is a little better because I'm not good at decorating tear trays. But I'm I am gonna do another video like I did for the, um fall decorating my tear tray. I, I don't know if I want to do my mini one or the big one I got from that's over here, that's why I'm pointing. My big one that I got from Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure. This I wouldn't put this on my big one because it's a darker galvanized than this. I don't know yet. I don't know. But this is really cute anyway. I'm taking this red and white off. Um, and add something else, so I might just take this completely off and not add anything because that is too much for me. But I don't like the red and white ribbon anyway, so that's what I'm thinking about doing just taking that off. But this was a dollar, and from Walmart, I got these this um ice skate ornament, ice skating ornament, ice skate ornament, and it got this red and green um ribbon on the back with some little pine and berries and I said pine with some little greenery in here and some pine cones and some berries and the little string that it hangs by so I will not be keeping this ribbon on here and I may take everything out of the shoe and just use it for my um tea tray but it's really cute little ice skate and it's really detailed. That's what else I had liked about it. Really cute. So this was from Walmart for one ninety eight. I don't know why they do not have the prices on their tags, but it was one ninety eight. Next, I picked up this. This is really cute, and I seen a lot of people haul these, but I didn't find one the first time I went inside of Walmart. So it's this little letters to Santa's mailbox ornament. I'm not sure if I'm going to put this on my tree or on my tear tray. So, I got some stuff that I don't know if I'm going to put on my tree or on my tear tray. I have to see or I have to decide. And this little thing that it hangs by. Really cute though. Really cute. So, then I have got, I got um, these cute little boots. They were one ninety eight too. Really good price. I think this was really cute. They got the little um, it's like just the burlap on them. That's all it is, and it's two. I might tear these apart because I'm pretty sure I can, and use one for my tree, and then use one for my tear tray, or just put both of them on my tree, or both of them on my tree tear tray. So really cute. They were one ninety eight. I was surprised that I actually found these. Then I got more ribbon. I've been picking up ribbon. I actually like this ribbon and the other ribbon I showed you. It's a little burlap ribbon. It's pretty. I think this is really pretty. And this is, it says 1 inch by 12 feet inches long. So, the last thing from Walmart. And this was actually the last one. And I was really happy I found it. I grabbed it so fast. I didn't even notice the price until just now. This was $6.98. And it says fresh cut open. Established 1836 Christmas trees. And it has like a little sign. 
and that's the little hanging thing right there this was really this is really pretty i love this truck on here it's really pretty and i like how it's um like the enamel around the sides i think it's an as enamel you would call this enamel what does it say it doesn't even say but i think that's more like enamel versus it being like if you say distress because it's just enamel so really pretty and that goes all the way around the sides so that was really pretty. This was Hobby Lobby to grab some stuff. I basically grabbed nothing but ornaments. And I think I got one sign. So the first ornament I'm going to show you. This was $5.99. Everything in this bag was 50% off. Because I don't want to keep repeating myself. Even though I probably will say it again. This one was $5.99. It's a little galvanized farmhouse truck. Really cute. $5.99 for that. Then I got this. This was $7.99 and it's nothing but it's another ornament. It just says farmhouse on it. Really, really cute. I got this $7.99. Nothing but a little Tabasco basket with like a little sign in the middle. And the sign is actually like it's nothing but cardboard. And it just says Mario on it. Next I got this little windmill. This was three. $3.99 and it just has farmhouse on it too. Wait a minute. So I got this. Really pretty. You can see how it's like distressed around the edges too. Then I got another farmhouse truck. This was $4.99. I know I'm going a little farmhouse truck crazy. And like I said, I'm not sure if this stuff will be going on my tree and on, or on my tea tray. This one, I don't know. I'm, I don't know. Maybe you can tell. You can tell me what you think. I don't know if I'm put this one on my tree or on my tea tray, or should I put this one on my tree or on a tea tray? I think both of them is really cute. I don't know yet. I don't know. We'll see. I guess once I start decorating my tray. Next, I got these beads. And on the end of the beads, it says Murray. And the only thing to say is wood, wood decor. And these beads, and the end of it, it's like a little card. You know how to it's like a tag. It's tag shaped. And it says Merry Christmas. And it's a darker wood. I actually really like that. I don't know if I might put this in my basement with my Christmas stuff. Maybe I'll put a tear tray down there. I don't know. But I would have to get another one. I might do that. Or I might make one. I'm not sure yet. But this is really cute. And this was $5.99. Don't know if I said it already. Next, I got this cute little farmhouse. Was it a barn? I don't know. This is really cute though. This was $4.99. You like it? My daughter likes this. She kind of likes everything I like. Or she might just say it because she likes me. But this was $4.99. Really cute. Then something else I've really seen. I've seen them like, really? I'm going to buy this instead of making it. It was $3.99. But again, everything was 50% off. It's just this, um, I guess you can say just wood wrapped. Like some pieces of wood wrapped up. And twine. Really cute. Only thing I'm not crazy about is this button on the front. I really don't. See, I don't like that button. I think that'll look much better without that button. I might end up taking that button off. Yeah, I really don't like that. But this was $3.99. And everything again was 50% off. Next, I got this really pretty Belize sign. I like the wood. What I might do, well, what I know I am going to do. I think I'm gonna take and dry brush this a little bit more, lit up a little more with some white chalk paint. So I might dry brush this some more to give it to take away from the gray. So I'm, this was $7.99, and this is a five by seven um, sign. Then next I got these cute little Santa Claus boots. They are, it's actually an ornament too, and it says shatterproof. 
And these were $7.99. And these are the Buffalo Checks. Buffalo Check, of course, as you can see. Really cute. And they look just like the ones from, um, let me get the ones from Walmart. Hobby Lobby is another place I think is overpriced because, because look at these from Walmart, $1.98, compared to these ones that is $7.99. Now these are not, oh they are, they tied together, but you can untie them. And they got the little bells. So, I mean, the difference. Can you really tell one was from a different store? Really cute, though. Both of them are really, really cute. $198, $7.99. But that's Hobby Lobby for you. They are way overpriced. But they were 50% off, and this is how they hang. You can actually put these on, like, your front door, too, on a cute little wreath. See, look at that. They're so cute, though. Oh, let me know down below what item you like and what from what store and are you going to get anything that I haul today. Also, if you are new to my channel, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the notification bell so you are notified when I upload new videos. Also, when you hit the notification bell, make sure you're tapping on all so that way you will not miss out on any of my videos. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I know it was long and I talked a lot, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video and bye.